Tristan Bailey went missing Sunday, May 9th. It was Mother's Day. She was one of five kids and she was only 13 years old. She was in the seventh grade and she was a cheerleader. Her family contacted the police around 10 a.m. on Sunday and her body was later discovered around 4 p.m. Her body was first seen by a neighbor about eight hours after she was reported missing. Very quickly, and with the help of social media and surveillance video, a suspect was named. A good friend of hers named Aiden was the main suspect. Video surveillance shows them walking together at 1.14 a.m. and the clothing from the video was found at Aiden's home along with some other items that connected him directly to her murder. The weeks leading up to this killing, he had told friends that he planned on killing someone. When he was arrested, he posted a Snapchat from the back of the patrol car captioned, Hey guys, anyone seen Tristan lately? He did have a hearing, a Zoom hearing, and has been held at the Department of Juvenile Justice for 21 days or until further notice. That was as of May 11th. The community has come together to support this family and show them their love and do whatever they can to uplift them during this time. She seems to have a very strong family. Her dad, Forrest, said, Our love is greater than the evil that exists in this world. Her older sister said, Tristan had the most contagious laugh and the most beautiful smile I've ever seen in my life. Her mom said she was an extrovert, the loudest in the nursery, and the outpouring of love from the community has been breathtaking. Her dad wanted to share a message for the future. When things get tough, I want you to hear one more voice in your head, her cheering you on. Aiden will be tried as an adult. Tristan was stabbed 114 times 49 of those were defense wounds. I want to move to another part of this, and this is a trigger warning, because what I'm going to talk about is very disturbing. Police working on the case have received hundreds of messages on social media from people reporting posts of users claiming to have been part of the death of Tristan. Can somebody go post something stupid on the internet? which is happening here, of course they can. But at this point, people are taking photos, posting them, harassing the family, directly harassing the family. And in a case like this, that is just beyond heartbreaking. And they could face criminal charges for this. What I'm gonna show you here are posts that were actually written. You may want to pause because I'm not going to read them. Um, and this is just three that I picked quickly, and they are horrendous. There are troll accounts, whether these are people who know Aiden and Tristan or not. They are horrible. They're horrible. I, I don't know the level of evil, demented, crazy, unaware that you would have to be to post things like these people are posting. Um, it, it baffles me. We do see trolls here on YouTube all the time. They're usually just rude. This is a child's murder. And there were hashtags about free Aiden underneath posts that were grieving about Tristan. I ask that if you're a parent, you get involved, that you know what your kid is posting, what kinds of things they're doing. I can't imagine that these are adults doing this, but then again, 
I've seen my share of crazy people here on the internet, so I suppose that's possible too. Uh, but these are just, the posts are awful and her parents are seeing them. Her siblings have seen them. They've been sent to them. There are people reporting them constantly. It's like you can't get away from it. And they're in the process of grieving their baby, their child. And to have to deal with something like this is, is insane. And I think teenagers believe you can just say anything you want on the internet because freedom of speech. And that's not really how it works. I know the police are following up and hopefully they will continue to follow up if it gets too serious and the FBI will be involved according to the police. Hopefully they are being serious and something is done. Um, there's very little accountability on the internet, whether it's from teenagers or adults. And this, this is just heartbreaking. It's, it's unnecessary. I don't know. It's just horrible. Something, something needs to stop them. Uh, what? I don't know. The internet's a little bit too free sometimes, and because it's free, people say and do things they probably wouldn't do in real life. So, right now, what we do know is Aiden will be charged as an adult, even though he's only 14. I think the fear was he would just do juvenile detention time until 21, and then he would get out. But now he's probably looking at life in prison without the possibility of parole, which I'm glad about. Typically, I'm not for children being tried as adults, but in this case, I think we can make an exception.